All right, fellas, we're going to start off with the underside of this model. I'd have to say this is probably one of the most all-out builds that I've ever did in my modeling career. The whole concept behind this car was to try to build a model out of everyday items and I'm gonna go over as many of the items as I can in a short period of time in this video that I have but the underside is pretty much uh, weathered As you can see, okay, guys. First off, thank you, Chevy Cheeseburger Chip, sir, for putting on this uh, top 10. Like I say, I think this is the best all out build that I've built to date in my career. Uh, literally, I challenged myself and and my creativity to the <laughs> to the extreme with this particular build. This car is a 1932 Rat Rod 12 Disciples, and um, I know I'm going to miss details, but I'm going to try, guys, to go over as many details that I can in this video and um just do the best i can so please go back and watch the video again if you need to um because i'm gonna try to go as fast as i can all right so let's begin with the uh frame the frame rails one day I was eating. Uh, one day I was eating a corn dog, and uh, I was looking at the stick, and I was like, you know, I could, I could make a frame out of that. And so I did. So I turned the corn dog stick into two frame rails that run from the front suspension all the way back. To um, the back. The cockpit area was made out of um, razor, uh, you know, the thing, the container that the razors come in. I chopped it up, spray painted it, weathered it up, and uh, mounted the corn dog sticks to the, the razor container. And that became my base to, to, to lay everything on. Uh, this seat uh, came out of a parts box. I weathered it up with some oil stains, a lot of different washes to get that uh, aged, you know, well-worn in look. The uh, seat belt uh, came from extreme scale detail extreme seat belt material uh, you guys go over there and uh, you know chip's got a really good selection uh, of all different kind of parts now the actual seat belt ends were scratch built i scratch built those but um the steering wheel came out of the parts box i believe it was some type of um, old roadster that it came out of i weathered the the gas pedal the gas pedals and the um, clutch, the brakes, all that. The oil reserve tank was made out of a, a pin top, cut it down and scratch built, uh, you know, end piece. The uh, oil line is actually uh, a paper clip. It's actually a coated paper clip. 
Then we have scratch built rear suspension that came from the P40 uh, Tiger Shark sprue that made the axle and scratch built some um, rear suspension component parts. It's got a brass tube drive shaft that goes from the rear end up to the scratch built transmission. This is a fully scratch built transmission. It's got linkage. It's got uh, the the spline. It came from a super glue top, and then the uh, the belt housing came from a, a contraceptive gel cap, and um, the rear rear wheels came from Dr Pepper soda caps. This is a dually, so I got them mounted together. It's got the dually. Then inside there we have the um, the Ford Crown Vic rim on a white wall tire, and it was uh, taken out of a magazine, cut out of a magazine, and glued in there with uh, Elmer's white glue. Like I say, the whole cockpit has, has been heavily heavily weathered. Moving on down here to the um, to the engine. The engine is a scratch built V12, and it it started life as a nine volt battery. So I made the block out of a nine volt battery. I made the valve covers out of um, razor caps. It comes off the razors. I weathered them up really really good. The exhaust is the the exhaust is the uh, made out of a, the the cheeseburger headers. These are scratch built individually, shapen. So like you know, some guy in his garage made one pipe at a time type of thing was the ideal I was going for. And these are made out of solder, and um, each one is individually uh, bent and fitted. To the to the piece, we've got our steering language linkage um, coming up. The um, the fan was took out of the parts box. I used the battery positive and negative terminals for um, pulleys. I used a black electrical tape for the belt. The um, the water tank. Behind the um, radiator was a, a gelatin preservative that I took out of a um, container. The cap is a nail head. I got to get tar strings for the uh, run it for the lines for the for the water lines. Um, I got a complete scratch built intake manifold with uh, fuel lines, uh, fittings, and lines. So, uh, I, 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 so I plumbed it, and I ran the um, wires. The spark plug wires are um, thread, sewing thread. And then the top parts, uh, the scratch-built. We have scratch-built carburetors. And then the very top uh, of the um, are stainless steel inlets inductions and um, what else we got here we have uh, the the grill was a guitar pick that was taken out of my guitar pick collection okay the uh, front suspension is uh, we have for the springs. We have these springs are are, are still. They came out of the um, clothespins from clothespins that were cut down, and put in there. The axle itself was taken from a, a, another model kit. It's a sprue. It's actually a sprue that was painted up rusty to um, be a, a front axle. The brakes are stainless steel five millimeter washers. Um, the rims are actually off the Corvette gasser. 
AMT Corvette Gasser kit, and then the Polyglass GT Goodyear's came out of, uh, I want to say, the Camaro, AMT Camaro kit. Of course, we have our alternator, our belts down in there. All right, so this is, like I said, I'm just trying to run through this. All of the frame rails, the cockpit, the block, the uh, um, file covers, all the suspension pieces, everything was heavily weathered in different types of washes. I've had, I got so many different paints and nail polishes on this particular um, piece that um, I'm not going to go over every one, but you can go back to buy, uh, like a behind the styrene series or something. And I'm sure somewhere I've mentioned each individual color and, and everything like that. But so we got a scratch. Yeah, so we have a scratch built gear shifter out of uh, a coated paper clip. And then we have a scratch built uh, gear shift knob, which is a piston, a scratch built piston. And a couple other things on the front here. We have the. Uh, Copper wire as linkage, steering linkage, and we have uh, toothpicks as um, our stabilizer bars. On the um, on the body, we chopped the top and then made like um, welds. So you could kind of see, kind of see the weld lines in there. It's pretty much a extreme chop, I would say. Three and a half, four inches scale, probably. It's really nice and low. So the paint on the body, we have the uh, English ivy green on the bottom, which was brush painted by hand. And then we have a uh, gloss black belt line, which was nail polish painted by hand. And then on the very top, we have the... Um, a vanilla ice cream, which is also uh, painted by hand. We have the red uh, windshield. And on the top, I decided to put a bunch of license plates from all of the kills that the car has uh, slain throughout its uh, career. And we do have a Dr. Cranky Got Rust decal on the back above the rear window. And so this is the 12 Disciples. Nineteen thirty-two Ford Rat Rod. that I'm going to be entering in the Chevy Cheeseburger Top 10 All Out. All right, we have just added some brake pads on the brake disc. We've added some brake lines, stainless steel brake lines with fittings on the front. We did add back here in the cockpit a brake booster with uh, brake lines running over the frame rails. We also added our, uh, our battery with our um, positive and negative hookups. We also have our uh, nitrous bottle hooked up right here. Scratch built, painted up, the stainless steel uh, 
valve to open it up. We also have our um, positive cable running to our starter, which is um, scratch built right here. So we put a scratch built starter on it as well. Uh, we also have an, the number 12 representing the 12 disciples in gold on the door. So I'm going to wish everyone good luck that enters in. And uh, this is the 12 disciples, Model My 72. And uh, good luck to everybody. Thank you guys so much for tuning in.